and as you say, memory is such a fascinating subject matter. And I, I'm, I'm teaching a lot in memory kind of, and it's so fascinating of how certain subject matters have so much written on it. And then others, you just have nothing. And it's, it's like trying to desperately find that one book. So it's really appreciated to get something on slavery. <clears throat> now, I think it's a really interesting part that you raised there was kind of this trying to expand kind of the um, vantage points that we have. Mm -hmm. And <clears throat> one part that I kind of, when I was reading through your book was the, how do I best phrase that it's sort of like how your book is aging. And mm -hmm. you have like the, the beautiful story of the Colston statue in Bristol in, in your book. And mm -hmm. it sort of felt like, oh my God, she wrote this in like in 2019 and mm -hmm. in, in December probably, and the book comes out and the statue has been removed. Um, so it's like, how do you feel about this, this summer in particular of how much has happened that you have in your book, but mm -hmm. that it's like, you said it would be nice if we have a conversation about it and we actually removed the mm -hmm. statue. Mm -hmm. Yes, I, I, uh, how can I say, I think that I am familiar with this kind of, um, with this kind of situation because, and this is why a book uh, of this kind um, cannot take 20 years to, to, to be written. <laughs> Uh, we we have when you need when you want to intervene as a story in, in a debate that is going on in the present you cannot take uh, that long to write of course i was not expecting nobody could expect that you would have a pandemic that this issue of the the confederate monuments would uh, also have a, how can i say an echo elsewhere but at the same time the argument of the book is uh, related to the fact that the ways that these monuments they emerged either here or in Bristol or Liverpool or in London or uh, in France, uh, these are the, uh, these realities, these contexts, they were connected, and uh, the claims, the demands of uh, black citizens, especially uh, then to take down these monuments or to remove or contextualize them, this has has been happening elsewhere as well. Then uh, one of the, the what I am doing here in many ways is also the history of memory of the slavery. Then is not only uh, a book that is about memory of slavery, but about the history of. Uh, uh, of this memory. Then Colston's story, we needed to know how it got there, uh, the demands that have been there for almost uh, then 30 years, and then the, the monument was removed. But again, the monument was removed and it's, it, it, it's, it's not that. The monument is going to be probably in that particular case is going to go to, uh, to a museum where this history is going to be preserved, then people will be able to go to the book and perhaps understand that that moment that we saw in June 2020 is not an isolate fact, mm -hmm. is the result of a, of a long process uh, that ended up that way. But um, this was uh, uh, then people, activists and academics as well were pushing for that for, mm -hmm. for several years. Yeah, and I'm, I'm pretty sure when the statue goes into the museum, you'll get a lot of phone calls asking about what you had written about it, I hope at least. Yeah. <laughs> uh, 